We are backstage at UFC 243, and I am joined by the undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Israel Adesanya. Obviously, um, you're happy, but it seems like looking at you, you didn't even get in a fight. I mean, every time I see you, it's like you don't have a scratch. Apart from the last time, the last time I said, the Mexican didn't let me have fun, and this time, I said something yesterday after I did my rehearsals for the workout and stuff. I was just like, look, I'm gonna do this my way or no way. So I came out with my crew, my day ones. They walked me out, they, 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 they danced, we danced, we, we, we got it going, set the tone. And even doing something like that, I know everyone would be like, I hope this cunt gets knocked out. Look at him, so cocky. Ugh. But I have to do it my way or no way. So yeah, when I'm having fun, I'm the best in the world. And I have fun tonight. I was actually in the building during your rehearsals yeah, yesterday. You were like, should he be doing that? I'm like, hey. No, worry, well, we I was this. just worried that you were hydrating, nah, all right? You know, good, I good. understand these things. Yeah, um, yeah. But you mimicked the whole walkout, and then you Four also, times. yeah, you also got in the octagon and mimicked the win. What was really going through your mind there? Deja vu. I've done it so many times in my head in the shower, at the grocery store, at the gas station, in the gym. And then just to do it again yesterday and repeat it and just affirm it and make a stamp on it. I told you, it's player one. There's levels to this and this is my game. So then you did the walkout for real today. 57,000. Like this broke a record. It for did real. break the attendance record. What did that feel like for you in those moments? Uh, um, uh, the record, I was, I was thinking about it later, but right now it's just, yeah, I own that, I own that. Yeah, it's like I said, I gotta do it my way or no way. Because on the, on the biggest stage, a lot of people, who else you know is gonna do that? And then do that, you know? And even when he was walking out, I was hitting the Carlton. Just having fun. Oh, I saw, I yeah. Relaxing. And I looked at him when he came in. I read these people. You can fake it, but you ain't gonna make it. And now uh, you stepped into the octagon and defeated Robert Whitaker, who held the belt for quite a while. Oh, bro, bro, do you know he fought Romero for 10 rounds? He went 10 rounds with Romero. He went 10 rounds with Romero. Oh, oh, I t even roll it. I said at the press conference, no man, you should don't need 10 rounds. You need five, four, three, two. I did it in under two. And I know some people, I, I, I lent some people on some secrets and I made sure they made the right bet. So congratulations. <laughs> How did you feel in that first round, Israel? Um, what did you good. think about it? I felt good. You know, he got some, some, some things going. He got some things off. But then I was just like, man, man, I own that. Man, that's my cage, and I could just tell. I'd said pressure's an acquired taste, and I've been chopping this for a long time. He, <laughs> you know the chop pressure. Just learn, you know the chop pressure. What did you think about, or I'm sorry, what was the difference for you going into that second round? Um, obviously, your confidence was high, but what do you feel like was the real difference maker? I thought it was knocked out because when I hit him at, at the end of the first, I saw his eyes. I actually saw it happen, like oh, and I was like oh, oh, and then Mark <laughs> saved him. Mark saved him because I was about to finish him. Did you hear the bell when that happened? I did, but Mark okay. saved him. I was like, mm, all right. And then, um, yeah, I, I just knew. I kind of stood over him like, is, like, really? Really? But like I said, uh, I don't know. I'm, and yeah. You got it done in the second round, but overall, how did you feel about Robert as an opponent? Yeah, he's, bro, I said to him, like, thank you. He's a warrior, and I meant everything I said. I don't backtrack. He was backtracking and you know, based on what the media says. And I said the same thing. He's good with his attacks. He sucks on defense. And my defense was very nice tonight. He threw all his things he was going to throw at me. His three high four. He threw his shift hook. Like everything. I, I, we've, we've gone through this plan A to Z. All their plans, what, what, what their level of attacks are. And, um, yeah, like I said, ugh, nah, can't. They can't. You planned for it. You prepared for it. You're that's now it. the undisputed champion. From nosebleeds to nosebleeds. And they were like, oh, this is this line mm, you say that <laughs> look at his nose in the end of the first round what did i do made his nose bleed um. if you want to do the walk off go for it <laughs> it, looks cooler, though. it does look cooler but i feel like i need to ask you about paulo costa because oh, he's him. in the building oh. i'm sorry yeah that's i mean cool, huh? but we'll do the walk out after that all right no that's all right it's already <laughs> done i had my moment um uh -huh. pasta i know they put him right there for for a reason at the center of the cage to see some uh, actions for the next promo but like I said, he's just a, he's an overly inflated balloon animal since I'm a skinny clown. I'm too skinny, bro. Any uh, indication of when you'd like to get back in that octagon? I'm fresh. You saw what I did when I first jumped in the UFC. I was four fights in one year and six fights in 18 months. I'm fresh right now. I barely got touched, so I might, I don't know. I don't want to jump the gun, but I'll wait till um, we talk. I'll wait till Dana 
and Mick. I don't think Dana's here actually. We'll, we'll talk. Let my people call your people. Oh, how Hollywood. All right. I'm, I'm too Hollywood. <laughs> now it gets his walk off. <laughs>